welcome back, I'm Julie, and I'm here to do a review for the Wonder Woman movie. I went to the movies last night by myself because I couldn't wa like wait any longer. The movie was premiered a week ago here in Peru, but I just I couldn't make it to the premiere, so I decided to go this weekend, and I went by myself, and uh, I, I rather than just saying, you know, oh, the movie was great, I'm not here to talk about the cinematography and the scripts, even though uh, the whole movie was just beautifully made, the shots, the, the fact that they decided to do like uh, slow motions on the fights on key moments that made the fights even more amazing. Uh, I'm not here just to talk about that. I'm here just to tell my story about uh, what I felt when I watched Wonder Woman. So I had, first of all, I, have, I had a lot of complications. I couldn't watch it last week because I actually decided to watch it with a group of friends and they weren't free last week. So we decided to go this week. But at the end, they canceled and I was like, I want to watch it. I don't want to wait any long longer. I already wait a week. I don't want. I don't want to wait any longer. So I'm going. And the thing is, I have never gone to the movies by myself. I always go either with friends or I go with uh, um, with Josh, which is my son. Uh, so we always try to go. I always try to go with someone. And then I was there, you know, sitting, and I was like, "This is Wonder Woman." This is, you know, the embodiment of 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 feminism, of uh, of women doing things by themselves, and you know what I mean. So I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna go by myself and I'm gonna have a great time. So I asked my mom to take care of Josh because Josh, sadly, he can't go to the movies because um, the loud sounds are really uh, complicated for her. He he has. He has autism, so he's he's very his hearing is really sensitive. So loud noises just scare the hell out of him. And I was like, okay, he's not gonna pull through the entire movie, and I'm not gonna do that to him. So I went by myself. I bought the tickets online because I didn't want to do the long lines and all that. I bought uh, myself a popcorn that I ended up dropping on the floor. But anyways, I also bought this. I'm gonna put a picture right here of the Wonder Woman um, popcorn. Like it was, it's like a can, and there are three different models. But I got this one that you're seeing right now, and I honestly, I I, I loved it. But I actually had to buy two popcorns. I didn't know that that was going to be available on the movies. But whatever. I mean, I had my popcorn. I didn't even finish. I wasn't even gonna finish the entire popcorn. So yeah, I, I dropped it. I could have given it to someone, but at the end I just dropped it. <laughs> because I was really excited to watch the movie and I don't know what the hell I did and I just dropped the popcorn to the floor. Everybody looked at me weird and I was like, bitch, do not even try me. Anyways, moving on, the movie started and first of all, like I said, the shots were beautiful. They were really beautiful uh, done and here's the thing, the vibe that I got through the entire movie, it's I know that the movie is directed by a by a woman, you know, uh, Patty some Jen, Jenkins Jenkins or something like that. I don't, for the love of God, I don't remember the last name. Thing is that um, when the feel I got was exactly what I wanted, you know. This movie was told from a woman's perspective. It was like I was there. And I, w I was being told uh, a story from my eyes, uh, f specifically made for women, you know. Even though this movie is not just for girls, because I had a conversation with my brother who, sadly, he's a little bit uh, homophobe and he's also like really sexist. I don't know how my mom raised him and then she raised me. Like, we have completely different takes on on how the world should work and how women and guys should have the same opportunities. So that's a conversation for another time. But the thing is that I was there and I just felt like the, the movie, like Wonder Woman, she looked, Diana, she looked amazing. Like amazing, the Amazons, they all looked amazing, but they weren't over-sexualized, you know? It, it wasn't like, oh my God, this, this skirt 
like left and, and like uh, you can see her thigh or her ass and it wasn't about that it wasn't about over sexualizing the women on the movie which was incredible and it had a completely different vibe because yes you can appreciate beauty on all the Amazons and on Diana and, and everyone else like all the females on the on the movie but at the same time it's not like you are objectifying them you know that's at least the feeling I got from the movie then uh, the love story uh, that had I was like I wasn't concerned because I heard that if the movie was really good, but for me when I saw it, it was so good. It was made and 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 it didn't take away from the actual ascent or plot of the movie. Like we had it with the guy with Steve and and Diana, you know, having a lot of chemistry and and I felt it and it was amazing. I, it didn't like I said, it didn't take away from the actual plot and from the character you know Diana was always like the one thing that I I loved about it is the fact that she just walks into the room full of men in a time period where girls are just used you know maybe for for they, they shouldn't work or they shouldn't be in important meetings and all that Diana just walks in she doesn't even feel like she is not supposed to be there she's like I wanna fix it. I know how to fix it. I am here to win and I'm gonna do it. And why are you all people, man, listening to me? You know, she she for no reason thought that she shouldn't be there. You know, and that's something that you have to take away from the movie. One thing that it makes for me the movie's amazing is the fact that after you watch it you can translate that into your real life you know I wish I had a, a young daughter you know a, a, that I can share this with and just make her watch the movie because you can take out of the movie so many things you know the girls can do it just as good as a guy this is not about girls being better than guys this is just about you can do it as good as anyone else that you don't need to like I just wish that growing up I could have watched this on a movie theater or uh, even shows where now you you do get I mean you have Supergirl which this season hasn't been really good about feminism season one was really good season two hasn't been really good about feminism at all because the whole plot was focused on Supergirl's love interest uh, but having shows like this, you definitely, or movies in this case, like this, a young girl watching this with her mom, and you can tell her, see, you can be like Wonder Woman, you can be anything you want, you can do everything you want, and, and, and at the end of the day, you are as powerful as anyone else. Look, the girl saved the movie, like the girl saved the world in that moment, you know? And I, I love that. And I, I love it because it, was, it wasn't also like patronizing, like it wasn't like, oh yes, yes, she can do it because she's, she's kind of like a god, right? She's a god, a goddess or something. I didn't understand that part because I, I don't read, <laughs> read comics or things like that or backstory or anything. So like you can teach young girls and girls in general you can do that and like I said I have I wish that I had this when I was growing up when I was a lot younger uh, so I can you know take uh, say oh my god I can be I can be whatever I want you know without limitations without people judging you for what you are or even if they are you wouldn't give a damn because you know what you're worth you know and that was just amazing during the entire movie you see Diana everybody telling Diana you can't do that and Diana's like what the fuck yes I can like I was I was prepared to do this you know and even though Diana didn't like uh, she how to say it she didn't know the world she still was her own person and I just love the meaning of the movie and the feeling I got at the end of the movie like at the end of the movie I was ready to kick some ass like serious to God I was ready to I was like here my country is not the most safe country to walk on the streets you can get robbed I mean this could happen anywhere but like 
person I, like myself because I was like blogging also you, if you want to see my blog when I was watching the movie just check it out link will be in the description below and also on my snapchat so I was like blogging like this so someone could easily come and just take my phone and I was like I'm ready come at me bitch like I was so like a little irresponsible of me because I'm not Diana like I could die but I felt so empowered but empowered by the fact that girls can do it just as good as a guy and I'm so happy that this movie it was huge around the world and it has uh, records and all that and it's just amazing I just I know that Diana I mean uh, Wonder Woman is also in another movie I think the Batman and Superman movie I haven't watched that I'm totally gonna watch it uh, uh, later today I'm guessing or tomorrow and also she's going to be on the Justice League which I don't know anything about but I'm also gonna watch that because Diana was like Wonder Woman was amazing and Gal even though I did I don't know if the character is supposed to have an accent and look at me talking about accent having a strong one but Here's the thing, I did sense her accent on the on the movie. It wasn't that clear, but anyways, it was it was really amazing. Uh, but yeah, I mean I, I enjoyed the movie so so much. And if you guys have watched the movie, let me know what are your thoughts on the movie, what parts do you like. I honestly the first fight uh, with Diana, you know, going into like with her shield and just making the troops go away and, and destroying that tower which is the one where she takes the photo uh, and like that scene that entire sequence was my favorite my favorite in, in these slow motions on key moments amazing decision to do that um, so that was my favorite part which one if you have watched it which one is your favorite part if you haven't watched it because I know that in some countries like Spain I think Europe uh, they don't have the movie until later so what are you most hoping to watch on the movie even if you have watched this I think I don't know I don't know if this has a spoiler so I don't know if this considered a spoiler I don't know but if you have watched it or if you haven't what, it, what are your thoughts if you have watched it which one was your favorite part on the movie like your favorite scene uh, let me know and we can continue doing the uh this conversation on the comment section down below i will for sure i want li to like read all your comments on the movie what are your thoughts uh if you're a dc fan also what are your thoughts on the movie did it met your uh what you thought the movie could be what what you're expecting more i just honestly i wish though even though yes we did uh, see her getting out of the Iceland. I wish I could have seen a lot more of the Iceland. Uh, but, I mean, the Amazons were kicking ass and they were so brave. And I just, I love that first few minutes of the movie when we focus on the Amazons. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this review. You can say it's a review, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, thank you so much. Thumbs up this video if you love Wonder Woman. And if you haven't seen it, thumbs up if you're going to go to the movies to watch this amazing movie. Also, subscribe to see more reaction videos. I do reaction videos for a lot of shows, including Winona Herb, Orphan Black, uh, Pretty Little Liars, and a lot more shows. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.